that's pretty terrible, but still, that looks pretty lame. After the bit, like, it's, it's sort of as lame as, uh, Phoenix Wright in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I mean, like, Phoenix Wright is one of my favorite characters in that game, but his victory celebration is just... That is pathetic. Yeah. There's just no, just no. Anyhow, not sure why I'm walking around here for, because that's basically the end. Yeah, um, if you've been watching this and actually managed to keep watching throughout this entire thing, good for you. You managed to tolerate my seemingly annoying voice, which I myself really hate. I don't know why anybody listen to it. But, yes, Hero Factory Breakout, it's a... I'm not going to say it's a great game or an interesting game, or even a... I don't know, it's a, it's a good game. It's like a time waster, I guess. It's like those games I used to play when I was a kid. You know, like you had the Alpha Team games and the Johnny Thunder games, or like, even like Lego Batlog. Or, sorry, Batlog. Backlot Studios. But, um... I don't know, this one just seems a bit sort of wacky. You don't... There's no jump button one, which really... It's not too much of a problem, but it does, like, you know, give some rather interesting errors in which you could easily jump at if you actually had a jump button. Uh, the targeting system definitely needs work. You automatically target things, which is good, but it's probably executed. For one, uh, you know, you, even though you pivot at stuff to turn, you know, you, if you're walking past somebody, you turn to hit something, the camera angle doesn't help. And, like, you can't, uh, there's no Z-targeting, I guess, would be the best thing here. Which I didn't, I guess I, I didn't really expect in a LEGO game, but it just seems something that'd be very useful here if you ever played this game. You want to go back, you know, you want to move around, you can't actually do that, you have to, you have to be facing the target. And not only that, the camera has to be facing the target. I think that's the worst thing in this game altogether, it's the camera. The camera, like, you know, it gets stuck several times, and, um... It gets glitchy several times, it spazzes out on you, it doesn't really help you when it comes to battling, it doesn't really keep behind you all that much, which is, it's kind of bad, because it's not just you that has to be facing a target, it's the camera that needs to be facing. And if, you know, if you're facing the target like here, and the camera doesn't turn around with you, that's definitely, a, you know, something that needs to be worked on. It's very annoying, and yes, yeah, kind of intrusive. But, I will admit that they do offer a lot of customization. Again, I'm just walking around here for no apparent reason. They do offer a lot of customization, uh, but you don't get to create your own hero, which I, I feel like it's a bit of a missed opportunity. I mean, they have the capability to do it. I'm not sure why they actually don't. Otherwise, you have all these other heroes you can choose from. Again, it's not the best range of selection, but you do have um, the chance to upgrade your weapons, the chance to customize your weapons, and... Um, our, or and or parts and actually choose the color form. I'm not sure why you did that. But yeah, that's basically Hero Factory Breakout in a nutshell. The graphics are I can even say them. They're mediocre at best. After that jungle one I felt was well done, but everything else just seemed kinda of bleh to me. I don't know. But yeah, that's, I think that's about it. Is there anything else I'm missing? Oh, the sound, the music. Uh, it's, well, if you listen to it now. Yeah, it's, it's like this one loop that keeps repeating over and over. Again. They do have different tracks for each level. I can appreciate that. I guess it's, it's not too intrusive, but yeah, it's actually the gameplay that really gets me. The gameplay and the graphics, really. Well, I have to say, it, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but considering how bad I thought it would be, that's not really saying much. It's a good time waster, especially, and I'm sure like a lot of kids will really get into this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would if I, was a, if I was a lot younger. Because, you know, I used to spend a lot of time just wasting time on different websites. Or I didn't go on forums, I just went to game sites. So, yeah, I guess that works kind of well, depending on your standpoint. Well, yeah, I guess, you know, you can play it now, but you can't actually save your game. And, because, you know, the login system's glitched up. And, uh, you can't ac enter any more codes. Because, you know, you need to log in to do that. And every time you log in, they actually bring you to the login page, regardless if you are logged in or not. So, yeah. I really hope they fix all the glitches, uh, maybe update the graphics a bit. 
I, I guess some of them aren't completely terrible, they're just mediocre, there's nothing really going on with them. Out of all the 3D LEGO games, I have to say this is the best. Uh, and graphic-wise, no, I think the Toy Arena beat it. But in terms of, you know, playability and all that, yeah, this has to be the best of the 3D ones. Which, I'm surprised I'm saying this, because I really don't think highly of this game. I'm probably not going to play it after this, unless they, you know, update something, but still. But yeah, I'm just rambling, so yeah, I guess that's it. This is Hero Factory Breakout, the game, available at HeroFactory.com, etc., etc. This is Kaganuva, signing off.